Hey everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Press Enterprise High School Football Video Podcast. Uh, we got Dan Riley here with us, assistant editor, and uh, we're going to talk about some football here. Uh, Dan, Dan, we only have one team left. We do. Uh, Southern is going to uh, try to win their first ever uh, District 4 Class 2A title. Mm -hmm. um, what, what do you see happening tomorrow? I see Southern uh, uh, winning. Okay. Uh, there's there's no reason to believe that they won't. Great analysis. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Southern has just been continuing to do what they do, and Montoursville. I don't know. Well, now, but we disagree about how much Southern will win by. Yes, we do. We actually so, have a, a. We do have a bet. A wager. Uh, yeah, we got some uh, some cabbage on the line. Yeah, one uh, feisty dollar. One bet. American dollar. Mm -hmm. Um. So you think Montoursville is going to keep it close? I do. Yeah, I, th I think they have the ability to. Sure, absolutely. You know, Bryson we've seen as a nice quarterback. They've they've been uh, pretty sound on the ground uh, these past at, at least the past two or right. three well, years. Well, Betkowski's uh, yeah. potential two thousand yard back, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, Hughesville kind of showed on their first uh, possession last week, kind of. A blueprint for how to move the ball in Southern. It's just not easy to execute yeah. because it means beating them up front, right? Which Hughesville did on their first two drives, or you know, maybe maybe the first fifteen plays or so, and then Southern just shut that down. Not good. Not good when you're uh, going up against Southern and and Jim Roth at, at this point uh, for a district title. Um, you know, when it's up at Southern too, that's always an advantage for the Tigers. So, uh, like. Like you had said, uh, I think they do keep Montours will keeps it a little closer than perhaps Hughesville did, uh, but in the end, I think it's it's going to be Southern as your District Four Class AA champs. Sure, and uh, so I disagree. Uh, obviously, I think Southern is going to win. Yes, but you you said you think it's going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of like thirty five twenty one. Yeah, something like that. I'm thinking more of like forty two fourteen. My my thinking is, um, you know. Montoursville and Lewisburg, I think, are, are pretty good. They're, they're very comparable. Yeah. And Lewisburg beat Montoursville in the regular season, pr probably their best win of the regular season. Yep. And then uh, they were in a ball game in the first round of districts. Uh, Montoursville won 10 7. Yeah. Um, so if you can say that they are, you know, just in terms of how competitive they are, basically on par. Yeah. Southern. Hung a lot of points on Lewisburg. <laughs> they Lewisburg, did. you know, they threw the ball around and whatever. Yeah, but it was still a mercy rule game. Yes. Uh, so that's that, that's my logic anyway. The only logic for me is looking back at, at last year um, with Montoursville, or was that two years ago? No, that was last year. Okay. But Southern was playing without Luke Raring, right? Blake Marks mm -hmm. and Hunter Thompson. Yeah, that's. A I very think good point. any team, if you take yeah. their three best skill players away, yep. They might struggle a little bit. No, you're right. You know? You're right, yeah. It's going to be an uphill yeah, battle. Yep. You lose your top two running backs and your all-state defensive back, receiver, kicker, punter, punt returner. Every position on the field, essentially. Right. He does everything but mow the grass. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. I, I don't think... I think you kind of have to throw that one out the window. Yeah. I, I think you're right, too. I just... I like the experience that Montoursville brought into this season, so I, I just feel like they have... A little better shot of, of hanging around longer than Hughesville did last week, at least. Now, so we're in agreement that Southern wins. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they go to states, and a very intriguing matchup in the first round. Yeah. Because it looks like the, the three best teams in the East are Southern, Burke's Catholic, mm -hmm. and Wyoming. Missing. Yeah. Now, Southern's going to get the winner of that Wyoming missing Burke's Catholic, Catholic game. Uh, it's tough to say who's going to win it. They, mm -hmm. they, I think they went into Week 10 both undefeated, kind of like a Southern Seals Grove situation, and Wild Missing beat them. Okay. But I don't think you can say, based on that, that it's necessarily going to happen again. No, no, absolutely not. If anything, the second time around is going to be a lot sure. more difficult. Sure, sure. Um, do you think Southern gets past, whoever it is, Wild Missing Burks Catholic, do you think they get past that game? Uh, yes, I do. Okay. And I know that, it, that right there, if that is the game that Southern's going to win, then they go on to win the state title, I think. I agree. I think that first round, well, I don't know if they win the state title. They at least get to the East, or they at least get to the final. Yeah, I think that first round game, and no disrespect to Dunmore, mm -hmm. 
I, I believe it's Sock and Valley is also in that half of the bracket. No disrespect to them, but I think that is your East yeah. final. Yeah. Um, and then from there, you, you know, you go to Hershey. It looks like you're getting Aliquippa or, or South Fayette. Um, and just, I haven't seen either team play. I've, I've just, I've read some things about them and, and heard, uh, you know, obviously, <laughs> Aliquippa's reputation, right. you yeah. know, precedes them. And even uh, South Fayette, they've, the past few years, they've been right in the mix. Sure. Um, but, yeah, that, that first game, if Southern gets past that, mm-hmm. uh, I think we're going to be drinking some hot chocolate. Yeah, if, uh, if they get past that. That's going to be a test in that first week of States. Right. Now, last week, uh, I had Mitch Rupert on the podcast. Good old Rupert. Good old Rupert. Yes. And I asked him if he had uh, uh, any George Curry stories, because obviously George coached his last game last week uh, yeah. against Scranton Prep. So, same question to you. Do you have a favorite memory or a story or anecdote that, that sticks out about George? Well, I've only had the fortune of, uh, the good fortune of covering George for a, a few years. Just um, since he came back in 2012. Just since he came back, right. Um, I, I've had a couple media days with George, which mm-hmm. have always been really entertaining. He tried to make you a guard. He tried the first time. Yeah, here's, here's the story. First, which makes me question his talent evaluating. <laughs> That's a good point. The first, <laughs> first time I ever met George Curry, it was at media day, his first year back. And he, he stops. He looks at me like this. He goes, where'd you come from? <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm, like you said, I think he wanted me to play right guard for him that year because yeah. they were they were down on linemen that season, too. But yeah. he was like, oh, oh where, <laughs> where'd you go to school at? <laughs> I, I so. thought of, because I know I shared two stories last week. Yeah. I, thought, I thought of one other one. Yep. Um, and and was, I'm a Central Columbia grad for the for those at home. So he was trying to recruit you. Yeah, he may have been. <laughs> <laughs> Alert the PIAA. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm a little too old. Go ahead. It was when they beat Abington Heights for the district title in uh, 2013. Yes. And uh, one of the reporters from Upriver uh, was telling George about uh, Abington Heights' best, best athlete. Mm. Uh, was also like a, like a Bucknell recruit. <laughs> I love this story. And, uh, and George was like, uh, oh, mm-hmm. so like their basketball team's pretty good then. Mm-hmm. And like, yeah, like, like he, he was told uh, that they might contend for like a state title. Yep. And George says, I did that basketball coach a favor. He can start his season a week early. <laughs> <laughs> He, sure he, he never missed the opportunity to kind of no. put, put the screws to someone a little bit. Not uh, at all. That, but that's George. Um, well, I believe that's going to do it for this week's podcast. Uh, uh, I, I have to let, pull back the curtain a little bit and let people see the process. We have food coming from Scoreboard. We sure do. And I am ready to eat this table. I'm, I'm surprised you haven't started gnawing on my shoulder. That's weird. Can, can we mention the shirt? Please. Can we address this? Do you change your clothes? I change my clothes every day. Is this like an Albert Einstein no, situation? Like he is, wore the same outfit? This like... happens to be, all right, so it's like a Tuesday, or or my my first day of the week, yeah. or a Wednesday when I come back in after my right. two days off. But it's, your, but it's your Monday. It's like the first first shirt on the, on the wash cycle, so I tend to go with the red shirt, the maroon shirt. You can't see the pants, but they are gray. I think they work pretty well. It's just... You are okay, a so fashion like plate. Five out of six of our podcasts, I've been in this shirt. So I feel like this shirt's been on a couple podcasts. I don't. I don't remember um, seeing it. That might be a mustard stain on my sleeve. I would not be surprised. Riveting stuff as always. Always. Now people know uh, we're slovenly. Let's get to that scoreboard. Let's get to that scoreboard. All right, we're going to go eat some food. But uh, if you liked what you saw, and how couldn't you have? Uh, please go to pressenterpriseonline.com. All our content, uh, game stories, tweets, blah, 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 all the great stuff. If you want to check out uh, the the playbooks from this season are all there. You can check those out. So please go to PressEnterpriseOnline.com. And uh, that's going to do it for this week. But I think Southern's going to win, and we will see you next week, and we'll talk about that matchup with whoever comes out of District 3. So for Dan Riley, I am sports editor Tim Hare. Have a happy Thanksgiving, and we'll see you next week. You almost did the finger guns right there. Do not bring up the finger guns.